A very warm welcome to you. Thank you for joining us again in this tutorial where we are going to learn how to create GemPages product page. Once you come to gempages.net and I'll be leaving the link in the description of this video, you will be welcome to this homepage and you'll be able to create customized and uh, beautifully looking pages for your stores online. And in this case, we are going to be demonstrating this using Shopify. So with gem pages, this is how you'll find it. You get it's a drag and drop. Uh, you can drag the headers, rows, ad blocks, images. So you're able to create, customize, and optimize so that you are able to track and measure and measure your conversion rate and improve on the same. So to start on gem pages, you simply come to gempages.net and then you click on start for free. If you are on Shopify, this is my Shopify. You simply come to your Shopify store and on the left hand corner down here, you click on apps and then you can select gem pages here. If you don't find it here, you simply scroll down up to Shopify app store. And then at the top here, you search gem pages and it is the first one here, gem pages landing page builder. And you simply click on that and it will take you to this site where now you can click on add app and it now brings you to this gem pages landing page builder where you click on install app and then you answer these basic questions maybe what you want to build remember in this case we want to build product pages so you click on product page here and then down here you click on create page now it may require you to allow access so that you can synchronize your theme style and enhance your experience you will click on allow access and then you enter your Shopify store password here. Then you put your password here, your Shopify store password and click on save and reload. Then you give it time to load and it will now bring you to this page where now you can create your page. So at the top here, this is where you give the title of your page. You notice our page is called Untitled here. So in this case, let's just change the title and we call it Victory Products. And you now notice our page here has been changed. And then we can drop and drag elements from sidebar or we can explore the library. This is a sidebar. We can decide the layout we need. We can drag the number of rows here, like this one has three columns. And then we can decide on the text here. Then down here, we can decide on the button and then the media is down here. Then we can decide on the icons to use, content list, and then all this, including the products here. So we can use that, but we can click on explore library, which is what I find easier to use, where you can now basically use the templates available. So you come at the top here and click on templates. And now you notice we have very many templates here that you can use. Notice we have all this all the way down. So you can use any of these templates. You can also search maybe depending on what you need here. If maybe it's about fashion, I'll type fashion here so that I can get templates that have to do with fashion. So you notice now we have that for fashion. If it is something to do with technology, I can just type tech and then you notice we have the page here that deals with technology. So you can explore that using the search button there. So I'll click on add page. I want to create a page, product page that has to do with technology. And now here it is, you notice this is our template now, our product page, very beautifully created. And this is fully editable. We can basically edit the whole of this. So we come at the top here, notice we have Black Friday offers. I can simply select that and uh, call it Victory Media Offer. So Victory Media Offers. So notice now we have it there. We can also decide on uh, a few things about our text here. We can even change the color of our text. You notice currently it is white. We can change it here. We can make it bold. We can even make it bigger. You notice I can enlarge that. We can also make it underlined. And we can even decide on which font to use and including, including the highlights here. So we can put that to be a red background that way. 
and I click outside, and there we have it. So you notice we have a media offers, that is for victory media offers. Then we can change all this. We have the countdown here. We can edit all that. Maybe this one again, this Black Friday. Then maybe we can just decide to put this as this mid here. And then we can change this, save 30% and more. Maybe our offer is 40% and more. So you notice we can fully edit this up to the end. And even here now, we can even change these images. You notice if I click on the image here, on this left-hand side, I can click on change image, then I can choose a file. So let me click on change image, and that will take me to my PC here, and then I can maybe select a different image. Let me select this image of the rings, then I click on open, and there we have it. So you now notice we have our rings there, and then we have the other details down here about free delivery. We can change all this on all orders at 150, free delivery. Maybe we can, instead of putting it as free delivery here, I want to put mine as affordable delivery. So, and now you notice now we have our text there. We can, uh, if we don't need a text box, for instance, like this one, maybe I don't want this part for lifetime guarantee, one year and all that. I click on this icon here and delete. So notice now our element has been deleted. We can now even drag and drop. So if I click on this one, I can now drag it to the side and bring it there. And then this one for online support, I can also click on that and then drag it and bring it there. I can also retype these reviews. Maybe this is by Sandra Gill. I want this to be a different person. So I want this to be minor Njoroge. So I can type that to be minor Njoroge. I can change all the other details that I need about this. I can change the stars. So I can just change everything about my landing page. I can also add effects. I can add borders. I can also change the corners down here. The shadows, I can change all that. I can also decide the size of the columns here. You notice we can decide whether the column should fit the content there, or we can decide by ratio. We can click by that. And then we can decide the number of columns. In this case, it's one column. So we can change that to be either two or more. And then we can decide on the size. If it will be full width, if I click on that, it goes full width here. If I uncheck that, it now reduces to this side. You notice we can also change the background color. So for instance, if I click on that color, currently you notice our color is uh, white. I can click on that button. Then I maybe choose a color like blue. So at the top here, you notice I can have different views. I can have the desktop view. I can have the tablet and I can also have the mobile. So if you do something that you feel you want to undo, you simply click on undo this button at the top here. You just click on that button and you're able to undo. You can click on publish to publish your page. But on this publish settings, you can change a few other things. For instance, you can change your search result preview. Then social sharing, you notice our products called victory products and then the link there, the SEO page title, you can change so many things here. So you can edit all this under your setting. For instance, here for the social sharing image preview, you can actually upload an image here. You simply click on upload takes to your PC and then you select the image that maybe you want to upload. Let me upload that one for a squirrel taking a carrot, you know, just any image that you know fits what you want to be your theme on your theme. Then Shopify theme header and footer. You can click use the theme header, use the Shopify themes footer and all that. And, uh, and once you're satisfied with that, you now click on apply settings. And so your settings have been changed and you can now continue and click on publish again so that now you got you get your new page and here it is you notice this is in our shopify store victory media offers and then this is now how my page looks like you scroll down you get this this is how it looks like including the things we edited here and that is how you simply add gem pages product page especially on any online store and in this case, we have, we have demonstrated that using Shopify. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.